Okay, here's the 3010. Um, this is what we're going to put the picker on. 3010 gas, I believe it's a 1961 model. Um, first off, um, we got to get the rear wheels to move out. They're very narrow. Um, we've got to basically switch this tire to the other side because this is already in the widest position it can be. So I was just going to flop sides. Hopefully they'll come loose on the axles. And then we need to take the sway bars off, blocks off, and the three-point draft arms and the fenders. Um, and that should pretty well prepare the rear end of this tractor for the picker. Um, I don't know what I got to do with the draw bar yet. I need to look in the book. I might have to put the other draw bar in it that come with it, the shorter style one. And it's got a, uh, it's not a straight bar, it's a curved bar. So I need to make sure that, see if that's going to hit or not. Um, I'm going to have to change these front tires out. They are um, 11L15s. They're way too wide for the front of the tractor. I'd love to be able to run them because they're going to float on the ground, but... I think I'm going to have to use my 4010 tires off of the part or the 4010 we're building. And I think we're just going to take those off and run those. I think that's going to be the easiest alternative to that. And all I got to do is take 12 bolts out of each one and put them on. So I think that's what we're going to do. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get to this today. Um, I do not have the side screens that go over the engine for as little as I'm going to be picking. I'm probably just going to forget about that. Um, I do have these side screens for the, so it can get some air. I am going to try to put those on. I'm trying to find the right hardware um, without using bungee cords to be able to hold them on in place of these side screens. I'm um, gonna get some tools around and I'm gonna try to break these hubs loose and see if if I can get them broke loose then we're probably going to uh, try to trade sides which they don't have jack bolts in them so if I gotta fight it a lot um, probably gonna resort to Mr. 620 um, I've had a picker on it before I know for a fact that those will come loose, do the same thing with it, but I'd really like to try to run it on a new gen tractor. So, um, I guess before I take any of the other stuff off, we're going to start with the wheels though. Hopefully these dry rotted wheels do not decide to give out on me. So they're getting pretty ugly. So, so there it is, 3010 gas. Um, I'll get back with you once I try to get some tires moving and we'll do some updates. Well, here we are, um, got one wheel off. I don't know how many people have actually seen how these wedges work, but I thought I'd explain it. Um, this wedge here, it rides in the, it actually comes down here on the bottom side. There's a keyway, as you see that. And that is what keeps the axle from spinning. The hub itself is tapered. You can't. You can sort of see it, but as you draw this piece into the hub, it makes it tighter. Um, you can kind of tell when we look in here that this one normally stays stationary, and then this here is all tapered in, and as that pulls into this, it clamps down onto the axle, and that's what holds these John Deere hubs on. Um, so. I don't know how many people have actually seen that, but I figured while we were getting these around to put on and switch from side to side, um, I thought I would demonstrate that. But um, the previous owner had removed these jack bolts, which is not helping matters, but actually everything popped right apart. Very, very surprised at that. So, but we're going to work on um, taking this one apart, which I gotta find the correct socket. Um, the, I call them the, 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 the rack bolts that 
you would this one here that you would move to move the wheel in and out on this um, it's all froze up on this tractor which does not make it handy but um, well obviously it's not sock it's not fitting so I guess we'll have to do it by hand I was going to try to do it with the um, cordless impact Get around here basically what I've got to do um, I've got to switch these from one side to the other because how these dishes are um, it's already in the extreme far position on the outside so if I switch from side to side and run them all the way to the edges of the axle um, will pretty well be where it needs to be so. got to take these all the way out like I said um, I apologize for the last few videos I have uploaded them so uh, people could make comments I don't know if I just I clicked the wrong setting when I went to upload it or what but I had a friend of mine tell me that I, he couldn't make any comments so. so. We we'll might as well put these on this side because that's for that wedge. And then we've got to get that wedge out of there. So jack her up some more. Normally just jack it up till I can spin the tire. And then put that on the very, very bottom. And then I'm going to try to just get a pry bar and gently pry that out. Come over here. Grab the bar. And we'll get behind there. It looks like it's going to want to come. I might have to use another bolt to... Oh yeah, we'll get her out of there. There it came. So what we do is just pull that wedge right out of there. And then I'm gonna walk this over to this side because we're gonna be putting it in on this side. So I guess, let's see if I can set up the um, camera so you can watch this a little bit. See if you can watch me hurt myself so what it's gonna boil down to. Uh -huh. I have to get a block of wood. Uh, as always, um, really looking into GoPros. I wish uh, I'd like to get some insight on what I need to be buying GoPro wise, but let's see if that works. So what we do is we're gonna lower the jack down, go right till we make contact. Um, get interrupted with a phone call, so let's see how that works, I guess. Um, got that side off. We gotta move that tire out of the road, get it over to the other side, and then I'm gonna get this one on before it falls off the jack and hurts somebody. So, 
Let me get some things situated and we'll get back after you when I'm going to put it back. All right, on. we're back. Get this thing lined up on my fancy handy dandy holder here. Look at this. Is that block on the lawnmower? Holds a phone camera just perfect. If you can make it to not fall over. All right. So, now, we've got to get this tire on that hole. see that but they are shot uh, brand new tires are hopefully gonna work for this as soon as we get my corn off um, I'm gonna put crop max 15.5 38 on them um, they look just like a firestone 151 um, I've got a friend of mine he's put them on and he says that he likes them so uh, if he likes them, I might as well try them. Which I think I actually found them before he did. I just didn't have the money to be going and buying tires this summer. Uh, all the COVID stuff. So. Anyway, got my wedge in there. See if it falls on its engine as it jumps. Again, if anybody needs a 4010 gas engine, boat anchor. Um, it is stuck. Um, the right price will probably get it out of here really, really fast. Um, I don't like gas engines. I don't care for them at all. So. There you go. So we're in there. I'm going to jack it up. Tip just to get it situated, and then oh, looks like we got a stint. There we go. Probably have to go a little bit further, but for all common practices, I think it's too bad. Yeah. Jack brakes. Life ends here soon. At least this side will hold itself up. So, all right, got the wheel on. Um, you can definitely tell. Big old gap there to put a corn picker through. Um, right out on the edge of the axle. And the only thing is, the wedge bolts are going to tighten from the inside, but it shouldn't matter at all because. These clamps are in the far extreme outside position to shove this tire all the way out. So I um, guess we'll take a break here and um, I'm going to go get tape measure and my book so I know where to set this thing out. Alrighty, here we are. Got the book out. Uh, so far, we've put these side screens on. I don't have these ones, so we're just going to go without. But needless to say, um, I do not have some of the stuff. I okay, so there's those. It'll be all right. We're only gonna pick a couple of those just for demonstration purposes. 
I've also got the auxiliary lights. I'm not gonna put them on because chances are this winter, this picker's coming back off because it's one of my favorite tractors I have in the winter. So, um, like I said earlier, I don't like gases. This is the only one that has a place in my heart. I don't know why, it's just handy. So, anyway, um, to set up so far, we've basically done everything this says. We haven't removed the sway blocks and I haven't switched it to 1,000. I don't have a 1,000 PTO shaft for this 3010. I'm gonna try to run it on 540 and see what happens. If not, I'll, I'll change it out. I mean, it's not gonna be that bad. So anyway, um, it says here we need 37 and a quarter from the center, which into the edge of the wheel. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a tape measure and we're gonna measure that out. Um, basically, um, what we do need to do yet is take sway blocks off after we get the wheels set and then i'm ready to start hanging all the goodies which um there's instructions somewhere on here for this this is just preparing the tractor so uh the three-point linkage is off sway blocks are going to come off top links off i gotta figure out what i'm gonna use for a draw bar but i'm not that concerned about that today my main goal is to get these tires set out because I'm actually off for an evening uh, from harvesting crew. So let's get that done. So come over here and we'll grab tape measure. And 37 and a quarter is what we're shooting for. I don't know for anybody that knows this, but some of the later ones actually had notches here. Anyway, um, we're just gonna go off of this little notch in the seat. I'm gonna try to hook it in there. And hopefully, oh, I'm unhooked. Come out here. All right, well, this is being a pain. This whole camera thing, I, I really enjoy putting together stuff. I know my camera skills absolutely are horrible, and we're gonna work on that. Um, I'm never gonna be great at this, but I'd like to be able to show people how it was done in the 50s and 60s. And you know, we gotta we gotta appreciate our ancestors here. So anyway, I am against that, and I am reading. 36 and a half inch. So that is not right. We're gonna have to bump it out some. So hopefully I've got enough room. So, um, I read somewhere, the row units are in the narrow position. You can set the tractor to 72 and a half overall. If they're in the wide, it's 74 and a half, which we're going to shoot for the 74 and a half. So, well, I guess I'm going to bump that out because I don't think I can do that holding a camera. So, we'll get back with you after that. So, we're on to the next part. Um, I put these right here in, these little spacers, reeds here, half inch thick, inch and a quarter diameter, whatever. You put them on the outside holes. Um, so now we're ready to lift this thing up and put it on the tractor. Um, I got the torque tubes, which are the drive shafts. They're still on. So we've got to line these two dogs here um, up onto the axle. So I'm going to probably put the phone down and lift that up by hand because I don't know how I'm going to struggle doing that. So, But this is what we're aiming for. So... So I believe it reads that um, attach the right and the left. Um, it does not say. Make sure the dimples are in line with the second slot out from the center of the tractor. So, so we're going to do that. And once I get that lifted up, I'll be back. Okay, it's on. Um, I'm reading the book. These dimples here second groove in these here set down on the axle um got those about as close as i can get them um if you eyeball the axle it looks pretty square so i believe that part is on so 
All that looks good. So, so there's one. Um, I believe I got to run down to the shed and get the right hand side because the one that I have out here I believe is uh, cracked. I'm going to drag it in just to make sure. And then hopefully we'll have both rear mounting hardware on.